that the possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever. What's good, y'all? Hey, so back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing five social media traps you should watch out for. You know, everybody on social media nowadays, and they don't understand. Like, it's not, it's not all fun and games, bro. Social media is really making people depressed. It's causing people to have more anxiety. It's causing people to end relationships. It's just not all fun and games, bro. So just watch out for these traps that y'all on social media. Let's get into it. I don't I went through social media detoxes plenty of time in my life. And every time I get off there, I, I notice a lot of benefits. When I get back on there, I got to watch out for these certain things. So let's get into it. So the first thing is comparison to others. This goes for like comparing your journey to other people. You might feel like you're not doing well enough in life, even though you may be doing better than your past self. And you leveling up, you look at what everybody else got or what they doing on social media, you think like, bro, I'm not doing good enough. You start feeling like you're unworthy or something's wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? This can go for like business. This can go for like how you looking. This can go for the likes and comments you're getting and followers. All that stuff, bro. Like you can't be comparing, comparing yourself to other people, bro, through social media. I'm telling you, bro. So many people are depressed because of this. They look at their pictures and their likes they look at somebody else's pictures and likes and they feel like, bro, this person is way more valuable than me. And if you start thinking like that over a period of time, you start feeling like you're just unworthy. You start not loving yourself. You start feeling depressed, like something's really wrong with you in your life. You know what I'm saying? So watch out for that job. Just comparing yourself to other people. This can go for like um, people that may be doing better than you in a certain business aspect. Like Glorilla, for example, she blew up this year for the uh, FNF song. She was uh, talking about how she blew up like in six, seven months. That song just started going crazy. But you might have been rapping for like four or five years by now. You're like, I ain't getting nowhere. You think like, well, really done blew up in a year. What am I doing wrong? Or like, why is she so much better than me and stuff like that? And then you start comparing yourself. And you might eventually just give up on that goal of dream, bro. Even though you're getting better than your past self, you're just leveling up individually. Like you're doing better than your past self. You might look at what everybody else is doing and what they got. And then all of a sudden you start feeling like, bro, I'm not doing good enough. You start to um, feel like you just got to give up because you just ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? So watch out for that, y'all. Comparison to other people, like I said, it goes for business, you know, likes, followers, all that stuff. So watch out for that, y'all. Now, the next thing is comparison of your relationship. Now, I don't talk to many people like it's crazy. I don't talk to people like they've ended their relationship because they feel like their relationship is not as good as so and so. Like money back, yo, and Ario. They feel like. The perfect relationship you see online, you see the relationship goes and all that stuff, bro. They feel like their relationship is nothing like that. So they feel like it's not going to work. Then they end it just because of that, y'all. It's crazy. These influencers and celebrities, bro, posting their relationship online is really ending other relationships. You know what I'm saying? People that's more private in their life, they look at how they live in their life. The celebrities, and they're like, bro, why am I not getting this? You know what I'm saying? Girls getting Birkin bags and, you know what I'm saying, Lambos and stuff like that from their rapper husbands and rapper boyfriends, whatever. And then girls in regular Walmart like hey I'm not getting this and this and this something wrong with my dude I gotta leave him or whatever the case bro like they go vice versa too men too bro like I haven't talked to people in real life like comparing their real life relationship to celebrities relationship and they don't understand like y'all don't know what that relationship really like behind closed doors y'all don't know if they really happy bro y'all really don't know they might be arguing all the time it might be a toxic relationship abusive relationship you really don't know you just seeing the highlights of it you know what I'm saying? So just focus on y'all relationship, bro. I feel like I had to say this because, like I said, so many people I don't talk to, like, they done ended their relationship because they feel like it's not how it should be based on a social media relationship goal standard. You know what I'm saying? So just watch out for that, y'all. Had to throw that in here. Next thing is social anxiety. Social anxiety because, you know what I'm saying, you're on your phone all day, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, as you go about your day-to-day -day life, as you're out and about, you in the club, you in the mall, you in the store, like you always on your phone scrolling. You're not really interacting with people, so you're not getting familiar with having conversations. You know what I'm saying? I made a video about this recently how, you know, I was at work one day and I just thought I decided I wasn't gonna be on my phone for the majority of the day. And I noticed I had a lot more conversations with people, bro. I had to acknowledge people and talk to people a lot more. Instead of just being on my phone, walking past people, just you know what I'm saying, just engaging my phone, you know, the internet more than more than interacting with people in real life. So if you're on your phone all day, social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, all this stuff, but you're not interacting with people in real life, I'm telling you, it could be causing you to have more social anxiety because you're not having those frequent conversations, those frequent human person-to-person -person interactions, you know what I'm saying? So be aware about that, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Take a little break from social media if you need to and just 
live your real life, talk to people in the elevator, talk to people in the line at the grocery store, just talk to people, interact with people, get familiar with that, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're on your phone all day, like a lot of these people, you ain't gonna be so familiar with talking to people, and then when you get around people in the crowd, you're gonna be having anxiety because you're not familiar with it, you haven't been practicing, you know what I'm saying? So be aware about that, y'all. Social anxiety, social media can definitely cause that, all right? Next thing is distractions. We know about this. So many ways to get distracted on your phone and social media, bro. You could be looking at shade room, academics, TMZ. You could be looking at this stuff all day. You could be looking at this stuff all day, wasting your time all day. Time is gonna fly by from that scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Time gonna fly by. All this time that went by, you ain't did nothing productive for the day. We all been there. Waking up in the morning, scroll. I mean, roll over, get on Instagram, scrolling, looking at Instagram. Then you go to Facebook. Then you go to Twitter. You just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Next thing you know, an hour done went by. The whole hour done went by. <clears throat> the whole hour done went by. You could have meditated, brushed your teeth, did some affirmations, got a quick little push-up workout in. You could have did so much in that hour. But social media, I'm telling you, bro, got people distracted, bro. And it also got people, like, looking at other people from the sideline instead of folks on their life. So you're looking at, you know what I'm saying, like I said, academics, shade room, YouTube influencers. You're looking at them post their vlogs and their day-to-day life. Bro, folks on your day-to-day -day life, what habits and new things do you need to start doing to better your life on a day-to-day -day basis? Instead of focusing on what so-and-so doing, what they posting, what they traveling to, what new music dropping, bro. Focus on your life. You know what I'm saying? Focus on getting your money up. Focus on getting your body right. Focus on making sure you got healthy habits in your life, a good routine to help you constantly evolve and grow and level up. You know what I'm saying? Distractions, 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 bro. There's plenty of distractions out here, bro. Pay attention to your real life, bro. I'm telling you. You're going to look up years from now, like, what have I been doing? I've just been watching so-and-so grow on YouTube. What have you been doing with your life? Have you been growing the past few years instead of watching everybody else grow and evolve and post their highlights of their life? I'm telling you, bro. Distractions, bro. This goes for video games and sports, too, but I ain't going to get into that, though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's get to the next one. The next one is less present. Less present. This is basically, bro, you're not going to, you're going to look back over your life like you're not going to have no good memories. It's going to be all inside your phone. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know people that be on vacation, take a thousand pictures, trying to get the right picture for Instagram. Did they really enjoy the vacation? Did they fully enjoy the vacation, bro? Was they present? You don't really know because many people are just taking pictures for the gram or Twitter. They just doing it for the likes, for the clout, for the attention, for the validation. You know what I'm saying? So just take time away from social media. Just be present, bro. Like you don't gotta take a picture of everything. You don't gotta record everything for your story. You don't gotta show your followers everything. You really don't, bro. Just being more present will have you living a more happier, fulfilling life instead of going to the beach and then trying to take a picture a thousand times. And the next thing you next thing you know, you're leaving the beach and you ain't even had no fun. You just took pictures the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So just keep this in mind, y'all. When y'all out and about having fun in y'all life, y'all got y'all day to day activities and stuff. Enjoy it, bro. You don't gotta record it for the gram or Facebook, or you don't gotta do all that, bro. Just enjoy it. Be present, bro. When you on your phone all day trying to pick, take pictures for the gram and TikTok, bro, you're 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 teaching yourself to be less present. You know what I'm saying? You're not fully aware of what's going on around you. You know what I'm saying? So you worry about that, y'all. It's another trap too because you're gonna look back over your life and like you ain't gonna have many good memories. You got to look at your phone to remember it because you wasn't really fully enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? In the moment, so. Yeah, bro. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if y'all ever take a social media detox. Check out my videos. I, I got videos on things I realized after I took some social media detoxes. I'll leave it down below in the description. But yeah, there's five social media traps to watch out for. Like I said, comparison, comparing your relationship, social media anxiety, distracted, and less present. All right? So yeah, comment your thoughts down below. Like this video. Share this video. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video, man. Peace out.